Hi, this is Tina again. Okay, it's November the 3rd. My next tag is a Prima tag without the background tag. It's just the doll as a tag. Now, I use this cute young one, the young girl, and I didn't want her pocket showing, so I covered that with lace, but you could leave the pocket showing. It wouldn't matter. But I did get a halo off of... Um, my Cricut machine and I'm trying to just see let me see if I can figure out where it was from but uh, I've learned a couple of lessons with doing this one um, working with vellum I didn't realize that uh, you have to use specific ink I would guess it has to be stays on ink because I used Versafine to do my to and from and unless you're going to emboss it and if you're going to emboss it then you're fine but I used VersaFine and it smudged so I may take the wings off this one and put new wings on because I think she's really cute and I just love it I think it's so fun anyways this oh I know what it was from uh, paper dolls that's what this little um, halo is from I used stickles on the stars and I added a little stick so that it would be up for, look, so she'd look like she was wearing a costume and I painted her shoes gold put a little stickle dot so she turned out really cute so let's show I'm going to show you how I pieced her together and how I stamped her wings and I've already I have a whole set of dolls that I've already colored so that part is done and uh, yes so I have a whole bunch of dolls that are already the skin is already painted colored with my Copics I do that on lots of my dolls that way I have them ready to go when I'm ready to use them all I have to do is stamp her dress so let's get started I am going to stamp Maybe I'll stamp it the other way so I can see what I'm doing. But I'm going to stamp my wings with, I like this ink. It works really well to get the crisp little edges. I've never used it. It's been sitting in my cupboard for so long. But it's been working really well. And so I am going to emboss the wings. Okay, so I'm just going to sprinkle this in sparkle embossing powder I darn near just about dumped it last time I did this but I find when I'm using any type of embossing powder that has glitter in it I like to emboss from behind so it doesn't blow all the glitter off. Oh. So you can just barely see it on there. And I will emboss it and come right back from the back of it. So I did finish it off after you've got most of it stuck down. Then I do do the top of it just to make sure there's nothing loose. Then I just cut these out. Okay, and I'm going to save those for later. What I might do is use my clear embossing powder and do to and from on these just so that it doesn't smudge again. Because I don't like using the permanent... Oh, I do have the cleaner. I suppose I could clean my stamp. What a concept, eh? So I'm going to make her dress and I'm just going to ink the center section of her because I'm going to be cutting it out anyways. I don't even put it onto a mat or a piece. 
piece of plexiglass. These ones are so big. They take a special piece of plastic to get it to work. Okay, so there's my dress on my pattern paper. Now I'm just going to fussy cut around it and I've done my wings and I'm going to show you how I created the halo for the top of her uh, using my Cricut. So I want to show you how I did that on my Gypsy and then on my Cricut. Okay, so now I've colored in her hair and I found the best combination for to match this paper that I have. Um, the pink, I guess I don't have the exact pink, so I actually just created it. And I put a little bit of pink underneath and then this pale purpley pink on top. Move, mauve, I don't know. I know I don't say it right to some people, but it creates the color that I wanted for her headband. Now, I gotta do a little bit more in her hair. I'm by no means the professional Copic color, but it just takes time and blending. You'll get it. You'll get it. So there's her dress. I cut it out. Now I'm just going to stick it on. What is wrong with my... Okay. Malfunction in the Scotch brand tape. Hang on. dress goes on. I've colored around the little trims and my trim that I have to put on here is this one and it's very pretty and I love it. So I'm just going to snip off with what I need. Basically, I'm going to glue this on with my glue gun. It's just the right, right width to have two flowers. And then I will put her wings on and I will show you how to cut out the halo. Okay, so on Paper Doll Dress Up, there is the halo. Oh, where did I see it? Anyways, the halo's on here. Anyways, it doesn't matter. It's on here. What I did with it, though, is I measured the doll's forehead so that it would look it would look reasonably the right size. And so from one side of her head to the other is about one and a quarter, give or take a few whatevers. So what I did was uh, I adjusted it. I see my true width. So my one and a quarter, or two and a quarter, pardon me, two and a quarter is my width. And I measured, let me go a little closer so you can see, each one of these squares is an inch. And so the inside, I wanted it to be one and a quarter. Okay, so that's approximately one and a quarter. There's your one inch square. As long as it was like that, that's what I wanted it to be. So it looked like it fit her head. All right, then I'm going to cut it and I will show you the next step because I just cut a little tiny piece of um, for a stick so it stands up on her head. So there's the halo. So all I did for the stick was I cut a small piece and 
like this. A little dot of glue here. And I attached it. Oops, a little dry. Okay, I attached it like that. And once that's dry, I will show you how I put it on her head. My glue gun should be hot now, so let me just check. I'll get her glued together. I can't say that this glue gun, Aliens glue gun, is my favorite. I saw people using it. It looks so cool because of that really narrow nozzle. But I don't find it works that well. I may have to buy myself a new glue gun one of these days. Just not my favorite. I like the skinny nozzle, but it's a bit of a headache the rest of the time. I used to just buy cheap dollar store glue guns, but they broke down or they just stopped working so easily. All right, so now I am going to take a set of wings, put a little dab of glue, doesn't need much. Position them where you'd like them. And then I'll show you that this is really easy. I basically put a little bit of glue there. And I push it down so that it goes behind her head. And slide it up. You can have it off center. You can have it however you like. There. Okay, so then I took my, which one is Diamond Stickles is what I used. And I put it on the stars. And I put it on her shoes as a little shine. And that's it. And then she was done. And I think I'm actually going to use these as my tags this year. I love them. I think they're so darn cute. So those will be my Christmas tags. Then I have to find pink Christmas paper. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> All right. Happy crafting. And I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye. Heaven and earth coming down We watched them fall Angels are gathered